Welcome. Thanks for joining us this morning for this special event. Um, we're really excited to share some, some great news with you about the iPhone software roadmap. We've been working really hard on this, and we've got some, some really cool stuff to announce. So let's get on with it. Uh, before we get into the details, I just want to uh, share a few statistics about how far we've come with the iPhone in just the first eight months since we started shipping it. Uh, if you look at the U.S. smartphone market, uh, in just eight months, the iPhone has garnered a 28% market share, second only to RIM, and uh, dramatically ahead of, of, uh, of third, fourth, and all the others. So we're, we're pretty excited about this. Uh, this is uh, fourth calendar quarter data here. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing, though, is, as you know, the iPhone is really bringing the internet to a mobile device for the first time. You really do have the internet in your pocket. And, uh, and that's being borne out by the uh, usage statistics for US mobile uh, browser usage. Look at this, iPhone, 71% of the US uh, mobile browser usage. Because for the first time, you really do have the internet in your pocket. So. These are very exciting statistics. And uh, so let's get on with what we have to talk about today in terms of the iPhone software roadmap. Now, I've asked two of my colleagues to do the heavy lifting today. Phil Schiller, our Senior Vice President of uh, Worldwide Product Marketing, and Scott Forstall, our Vice President of iPhone Software. And the first thing we're going to talk about is iPhone in the enterprise. And for that, I'm going to hand it over to Phil. Thanks, Steve. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am really excited to be the one to talk to you about iPhone in the enterprise. Uh, from the beginning of launching iPhone, which is not so long ago, we've had some great customers right at the forefront wanting to work with us to adopt the iPhone into their uh, enterprise environments. Uh, for example, uh, Genentech. As you know, Genentech is the world's uh, leading biotech company. We have a great relationship with Genentech. Uh, their CEO, Art Levinson, is a great board member for Apple. So we do a lot of wonderful things together. And right now at Genentech, they have thousands of iPhones deployed across uh, multiple organizations from sales to R&D. And to get a sense for what does the iPhone mean inside Genentech, the quote here from Todd Pierce, VP of Corporate Information Technology, the iPhone is a watershed event in mobile computing for corporations. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, they are an amazing company with thousands of iPhones. And it's not just businesses. Uh, we also have great enterprises in the incredible universities we work with. We have, very, uh, we have a great number of, of, great, of large customers that have huge networks. In fact, one of the leading universities in the world is right in our backyard, Stanford University. I've been working with them as well. Right now at Stanford, they have hundreds of iPhones deployed across faculty and staff. In the words of their, word of their CIO, Bill Klepsch, the iPhone has worked effortlessly at Stanford, and the user acceptance just astounded us. We've been inundated with orders. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. I think you can guess why that might be. And the iPhone is an amazing device with a breakthrough user interface. With just your finger, you can surf the web, check your email, manage your contacts, contact friends. It's an incredible device for enterprises. But there are a lot of things that enterprise customers, these and others, have told us are the things holding it back from really being huge in the enterprise. So we've been hard at work listening to them, compiling lists, trying to understand what do they really want to take the iPhone way out in, into giant numbers across enterprises. And what is that? Well, first and foremost, great email integration. Enterprise customers want the iPhone to integrate and get push email directly from their email servers. Huge request. Just as big, they want great calendar integration. They want to be able to get their calendar items pushed to them wherever they are, over the air, all day long. They also want to get access to their contacts and have it pushed back and forth with their servers. Then we get to their corporate contact list through global address lists. They want to build in uh, additional VPN types, and, and most often requested is Cisco IPsec VPN, built right into the iPhone. 
They want two-factor authentication with certificates and identities. They want enterprise class Wi-Fi with WPA2 Enterprise and 802.1x. They want to be able to have tools to help them enforce security policies, like mandating, mandating the use of pins on the iPhone. They want tools to help them configure thousands of devices as they deploy iPhones across their enterprise to set up all those mail and calendar services, to set up those VPN and security policies, all simply automated. And in the unlikely event, it's lost or stolen, they want the ability to protect that data to be able to remotely wipe it. That's the, that's the long list of important features that, some, that, that, that enterprise customers have told us that if we just did these things, would really help the adoption be huge in the enterprise. Well, I'm really excited to be the one to tell you today that we are doing all of these things in the next release of the iPhone software. Yes. Yeah. Now, they don't just say, hey, I'd like push email and push countering. They're, they're, they're much more specific than that. Right? What our customers have asked us in large part to do is to build in Microsoft's Exchange support right into the iPhone. So I'm also excited to be the one to tell you today that we are working with Microsoft and we have licensed the ActiveSync protocol to build directly into the iPhone so the iPhone can work directly with corporate exchange servers. And that is a huge request of our customers to be able to deploy iPhones in very large numbers across all these enterprises. So how does that work? Well, to help explain it, uh, I find it useful to understand the old way before we look at the new way. So there is an older way to do things that some have made to work using older generation smartphone devices. If you ever see any of these around, they do get push email and contacts and calendaring. And you think they come from the servers uh, in the environment, but they don't actually work that way. They first come, for example, from, to your device from a network operations center that is outside your firewall. It's even outside the country for most people. And that has to get its information from something that's inside your firewall that you have to set up that's a proprietary messaging server. And that's where it comes from. And of course, that gets its data from your Exchange server. So you actually see that what's been built up is a, a complex scenario that uh, actually takes some money to support and maintain and build and license. And of course, it adds risk to reliability, as we've seen from time to time. <laughs> well, that's the old way. Uh, Microsoft has really come up with an architecture that's, that's much more advanced and, and the kind of things uh, enterprises want to build in. They've built in a way with ActiveSync, the ActiveSync protocol, where the iPhone can now work directly with the Exchange server to get you all the important corporate information in a more reliable and more affordable way. So how is that going to work? We're building an Exchange support right into the iPhone so you get push email, you get push calendaring, you get push contacts, you get access to global address lists, and the ability to remote wipe it if in the event you ever need to do that. And one of the best things about this is we're building this in to the applications customers know and love on the iPhone. We have great software applications for email. The same email application on the iPhone will now get your information directly from the Exchange server pushed over the air. The same calendar the customers really love on the iPhone gets its information directly from the Exchange server. The same contact management built into the phone application on the iPhone that is so great gets its information directly from the Exchange server. And we're building that all into every iPhone. So this is a great, great way to, to, to solve all those requests for the best solution for Exchange support in a phone. And that's what it means to have Microsoft Exchange built into the iPhone 